Good morning, family in Jesus. Uh, so yesterday we went through the piece where uh, Peter was captured by Herod and put in prison. And just before he was uh, brought out to stand trial, and obviously uh, Herod had it in mind to, um, to, to kill Peter because uh, prior to that he had captured uh, James and John and he had killed James. Uh, so obviously that was uh, Herod's intention was to kill Peter. The church at that stage was praying at Mary's house and an angel of the Lord came and released him and now Peter is out again and, and he's, he's busy ministering. So if you want to follow this morning in um, Acts uh, chapter 12 from the second part of verse 19, the Bible said, Then Herod, Herod went from Judea to Caesarea and stayed there. He had been uh, quarreling with the people in Tyre and Sidon. Um, they now joined together and sought an audience with him. So what is happening here now is that the, the leaders of the, the Jews and the leaders of the Roman Empire, they are now they really getting sick and tired and fed up with the apostles and the disciples and the New Testament church that is just spreading all over, moving everywhere. They are growing so rapidly that they are busy taking over. They're busy taking over the, the towns and the cities. They are busy taking over the temples. They're busy taking over the festivals. And, and when this is happening, the, obviously the Roman Empire is, is losing. They're losing ground. They're losing authority. And they are losing money. Because governed by the, the Romans, the temples at that stage, um, ran by the Pharisees and the Sadducees, they were gathering money for the Roman Empire. And now, the, the money isn't being distributed that way, it's being given to the New Testament church to look after the widows and to, to look after the orphans and make sure that everyone uh, is fed and, and clothed. Amen? So then... The Bible goes on, um, after securing uh, um, support from, from Blastus, uh, a, a trusted personal servant of the king, they asked for peace because they uh, depended on the king's country for their food supply. So yeah, again now, they are trying to make a treaty because they, they, they are fed up with what is happening with the New Testament church. And uh, they wanted answers from Herod, and, and Herod made a treaty with, uh, with them. Uh, or Herod wanted answers from them, and they made a treaty with him. Then, from verse 21, On the appointed day, Herod, wearing his royal robes, sat on his throne and delivered a public address to the people. They shouted, This is the voice of a God, not of a man. So now because it looks as if Herod has now settled everything and, and uh, obviously in the treaty he's told them things that, that weren't really true, but he made them believe that they were true. And uh, now that, that they are, are, are now at this, um, uh, uh, at, at this uh, festival, uh, they, Herod is sitting on his, his throne clothed in uh, his robes. And everyone is calling him uh, a god, calling him a god. This is a god. This is a cannot be a madness. Look how he sorted everything out. This is a god. And we're going to see the result of that. They shouted, um, this is the voice of a god, not a man. Immediately, because Herod did not give praise to God, an angel of the Lord struck him down, and he was eaten by worms and died. But the word of God continued to spread and to flourish. Amen. So here we can see, brothers and sisters in Christ, that this season uh, there, there was persecution and then there was uh, peace where the, the church spread out. Then there was persecution with Herod again, uh, killing uh, James. Um, and then now, because he is standing clearly standing in the way of the New Testament church growing and expanding. And because he is 
is considering himself to be a god because that's what people is saying about him. Uh, an angel of the Lord comes and takes him out of the picture and this piece uh, in the word of God ends by saying that the New Testament church continued to grow because the word of the Lord then continued to, to be ministered. Amen. So here yeah, we can see that the season is uh, the season of peace and, and the growth of the New Testament church is now being repeated again. Um, so up, up until here for, for today, we're going to see the result of that uh, as we go on tomorrow. For now, please just join, join me in prayer. Thank you. Father God, we thank you, Lord Jesus, for the truth of your word, for the power of your word. We thank you, Lord Jesus, that through testimony after testimony, people hear about you. And they get curious, Lord, and they, they move closer and they ask more questions. And eventually they get uh, their hands on a Bible or the truth of the Bible. And they get to know you more and more, Lord Jesus. And then eventually they just can't anymore and they give their lives to you because everything and everyone must ultimately submit to the truth of the word of God. And we can see that here as well, Lord, that those who, who don't um, proclaim the truth, Lord, they, they have to suffer terrible consequences. And we thank you, Lord Jesus, again, that we can see that it is possible in this beautiful town of Altham of Alice to build a powerful New Testament church in this day and age that we are living in. Because exactly what happened in the book of Acts 2,000 plus years ago is happening today, Lord. There's resistance to what we are doing and saying. There's, there's people that are standing up and, and discrediting the word of God everywhere, Lord. There, there are people that are trying to imprison us in our, in our minds and in our spirits, Lord, but but the truth of, of the word of God is still there and still rules and still reigns, Lord. And we thank you for that, Father God. Blessed be your name. May this be a day that we seek you and that we find you, Lord Jesus. And may this be a day that we conduct ourselves in a manner worthy of the gospel of Jesus Christ. And we, we pray and we ask all of this in Jesus' name. Amen. Thank you, brothers and sisters. I hope and pray that you have a blessed day today. Um, that you seek the Lord and that you find him and that the truth of the word of God will manifest in you and through you. Until we meet again tomorrow, be blessed in Jesus' name. Amen.